everyone, and welcome to Overcast. Thank you for joining for the 63rd episode of Overcast. I am Frosty, and joined this week by my good friend Softy over here playing. Hey guys, how we doing this week? <laughs> playing some Overwatch as we speak. <laughs> what me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that never happens, right? <laughs> oh, no. But uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us again this week. We are so glad to have you as we uh, approach the end of the year and approach the holiday season. We want to remind all of you that you can always follow us on Twitter at Overcast Show. You can also head over to our blog page, which is overcast.frozenfoxmedia.com, where we post all of the topics we talk about and links to things as they come up. And also you can head over to frozenfoxmedia.com itself, where you can learn about all the other podcasts and content that is on the Frozen Fox Media Network. And thank you for watching either, well, for watching the video version on YouTube. <laughs> and yeah. if you love it, give us a thumbs up there and leave us some comments if you have questions or comments about the show. And also thank you if you're listening on Stitcher, iTunes, Google Play Music, or anywhere else. If you love the show, let us know by leaving us a review and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any episodes of the show in the future. Give me those thumbs up. Give me the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a rap song. Give me those thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> All right. This winter wonderland. What have you been up to, Frosty? <laughs> finals are over. <laughs> All right. It's so nice to have finals over. And it just like <laughs> like yesterday was the day after my last final. And I just sat there and I was like, huh, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I don't have to think about school. The only thing I have to think about school is like like when to buy my books in the next few weeks and like that's it. Right. That's all right. I'm thinking. So other than that, I'm just kind of like my mind just kind of is like just vegged out, you know. So that's, that's awesome. That's all good. Uh, my wife is heading out of town this weekend, and I promised myself that I wouldn't play the Last Guardian until after finals was over. And since she's going out of town this weekend, that'll probably be my whole weekend. Is because I've heard Perfect it's like opportunity, t- twelve to fifteen hours or something like that to get through it. So Ugh. bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that sounds like a lot of fun, though. It, it will be a fun weekend. Other than that, you know, it's just going to be cold, and I think snow is coming the next day or yeah. two. So yeah, that's yeah. that's what I'm waiting for. How about yourself? It's been an interesting week. Uh, we did a uh, big. Uh, concert for my wife's school, like concerts, play uh, for her little kids, and everybody got sick, including oh. me. Oh, no. Um, so today is day four, day three, where I've just felt like crap. So, um, so it's like a journal? It started, yeah. yeah. Day, yeah. day four. Symptoms have day not subsided. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that plus the snow uh, up here in Minnesota, I just shoveled this morning. Uh, to get the snow cleared for everybody, and when I got home from grabbing dinner with my wife, it was about four inches already. So it's uh, it keeps coming. Yeah, so I uh, I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> but the good news is when I come inside, it's a whole different type of winter wonderland. <laughs> I have been uh, playing a lot of winter wonderland. <laughs> um, the new uh, snowball fight with May. If you oh, haven't tried yes. that out, uh, it's yes. an absolute blast. Um, so I've done a lot of that, which has been really interesting because if, if you don't know May as well, like, like there's certain characters that are really easy to know all the buttons, but May has like very reactionary buttons that you need to know quickly. Um, and so if you don't know those as well as you'd like to, uh, for quick reaction, this is a great way to learn those because you're going to use all of them and eventually you're going to have those down. I, I know mm-hmm. like from when I just started today to the end of the day, I was like, oh, wow, that's right. My hands just know exactly what that is. <laughs> um, that and you get loot boxes and it, it's an absolute blast. There's several achievements. I think I already have three achievements uh, from those events that you can get for sprays. Um, nice. Yeah, those are a hoot. Um, I also uh, made a decision in my life uh, regarding Overwatch. Um, I have to let you know that I'm no longer going to be playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> everybody, everybody listening was like, <gasps> "Yes, I apologize." Um, yeah, I decided to unsub uh, at least for now. I was telling Frosty here that I was trying to find things like fishing or whatever to have fun for a little while. But they they all kept coming back to my core game right now was grinding AP for four different weapons, and even Hooray. if it's one different weapon, I mean, I think I'm like. 30, 25, 28, 25. Um, and I just, I got to the point where I was like, you know what? I would really rather play more Overwatch than do that. Um, so I love the screenshots. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> doing 
fun stuff there, but I decided to uh, to do that, and I'm now uh, just solely on Overwatch, which is kind of freeing in a way. Um, I was thinking about after the podcast here tonight that what am I going to do? Well, normally I'd, I'd get all my while wow, grinding in, and I thought, I'll just go watch a movie with my wife. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, kinda, it's yeah, nice, it's right? <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much been me this week. I, I did do all of my competitive. Um, it is a cesspool right now, unfortunately. <laughs> so um, get through what you can. Um, and best of luck. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's, uh, yeah, that's been my week. Ova, what are you up to this week? Oh, Ova, where are Ova? you? Ova? <laughs> Ova? Ova? <laughs> He might be working, that traveling, or both. Alien. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, we are uh, just the two of us this week. So, yep. Ovo will have to update us next week. But he'll have two weeks of stuff to talk about. Actually, That's true, actually, he will. it'll be more because uh, we'll, we won't be coming back to the end oh, of the yeah. year. So, <laughs> yeah, good <laughs> well, point. Well, more, more on that later. The Ova's updates. <laughs> so let's uh, talk about the topics for the week then. All so right. let's let's kind of continue on with what you were saying about season three. Yeah. And I, cool. yep. I, I now know that you have finished your placements yes. since last yes, time. Yes, I did. Yep. And drum roll, where was your uh, placement? What? My placement of? <laughs> where, where did you place in? Uh, it was smaller than my tax return. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, that could be bad. Great. I actually had, um, I, w- I was just l- listening to Patrick Beja today talking about his placement. I had similar uh, where I had uh, a couple ties, like I think three ties out of nine, and a couple weird, very close losses. I had one win that was by 0. .6 meters. We stopped them, um, wow. which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun on Dorado. Uh, and then I had a loss where we got it right to that edge uh, on a different map, and we didn't get it. The time ran out. Mm. So I had some weird stuff like that. So I think I was like 19, something much lower than I wanted to be. But uh, I guess that just gives me time to keep grinding up. <laughs> but this time it's the fun kind of grinding. <laughs> it's okay. You beat me. I was like 15 something. So oh, okay. I All must right. be a horrible player. <laughs> no. Well, yeah. If you're worse than me, you must be terrible. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh well, I, True. I, 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 I still like. I, I wish I could understand like better how the system evaluates your play you know, for your skill rating because. Yeah, I, I, I keep I, hearing so many people say the same thing. They just do not understand it. Because not only did I win twice as many games as I did last time, I did, and I didn't have any draws. I like I in two of the matches I healed more on Mercy than I ever have in any match ever. Oh, wow. By far. You know, I was thinking like, yeah, I must have done really good, right? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I get like 170. I think I went back to look at the screenshot. It was like 170 higher than last season. That was it. Huh. And last season I had like two wins and a bunch of draws and a bunch of losses. <laughs> yeah, I, I keep hearing that people that placed gold or mid around there last year are getting in the silvers this year. So it sounds like it's mm-hmm. about a one notch down. So even if you did better, yeah, you'd probably be normally be lower. So yeah, like, yeah, crazy. Good good thing it wasn't last season. I'd be like, you know, yeah. bronze, right? Yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 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 good. It's it's like, yeah, I I felt good about my play, and I think that's what I had to kind of like think about at the end. Like wherever the system puts me, it's kind of like I can't control that. Like right, because right. it also partly relies probably on my teammates. Because if my teammates are playing like horribly. Then I wouldn't have been able to do the things that I did in the game either. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, five sixths of your team are other people. Yeah. Um, and I, I had in placement matches, uh, people tell me that composition didn't matter. Uh, I had people tell me that we didn't need a tank because we had a Widowmaker. No healer comp. Uh, oh, yeah, the no healer comp. I had <laughs> two in a row, and I, it was so funny because I had a double play of the game and then double what was it one was five votes one was seven votes on reinhardt oh, wow. and I, I both were losses but i got i got those and yeah no healer people just refused to heal and i was already tanking i'm like mm-hmm. i can't do both nobody else will tank either i mean you had Genjis, you had junk rats i literally had to <laughs> sorry this is not in the uh this this is actually after i had played <laughs> i had two people verbally argue about who was going to play genji on defense of Hanamura. <laughs> awesome. And I, I finally just said, neither of you are playing Genji on this defensive map. <laughs> and 
and we had uh, one person uh, <laughs> call out a Hanzo who had zero kills on attack <laughs> on Hollywood. And they had zero kills. They had nothing. And he said, you need to switch now. We finally got it to the point. <laughs> we didn't have very much time left. He finally said, you need to switch now. You are terrible. And, and <laughs> maybe he could have gone a, around it better. But, uh, yeah, it was it was amazing. Um, like, I, I heard people scream at each other to shut the F up. Um, when somebody said, hey, can you go this? Um, when I think it was a... Somebody was going Symmetra on attack, and somebody asked them, uh, would you be willing to go Farah on, like, 66 or something like that just to mm-hmm. get up there? And and they started screaming, go F yourself, don't tell me what to play. <laughs> wow. And, and in almost every situation, I don't, I don't know about Olva, he and I were talking about this day, it was a very young voice. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a lot of youth in the competitive placement and competitive matches that were in. Uh, probably doesn't speak well for me. <laughs> But there was a lot of youth. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. What was your experience? Uh, my experience, you know, when I was going through my placements and competitive, I, I haven't played much quick match lately uh, because I just, okay. you know, finals week and everything like that. I can finally yeah. get back into, like, having a little bit more free time now. But yeah. I, I actually didn't encounter a lot of vitriol this, this, uh, this placement yet or this competitive season so far. You know, there was a few where it was, like, people were, like, we we need you know like this crazy comp like I told you about the one that had like four tanks like we chose every yeah. tank that we had, and I'm like, uh, why? So we had four tanks and two healers. Great, that was outstanding. <laughs> I haven't run into the no healer comp. I've seen it all over social media the last few days, and I'm like, where is this coming from? Yeah. No healer comp. Yeah. Like yeah, people just refusing. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. So since since I heal a lot, I guess for me it's good because then like I don't get into the match where like. You know, the other five people lock in the five play- characters that I play the most. <laughs> That's yeah, usually yeah. what happens other th- otherwise if I'm not healing. Is like, I'll be like, all right, I'm going to lock in Mercy. And it's like, no. Mercy. And then every other class that I'm good at, every other <laughs> hero that I'm good at. And then I'm like, well, crap. i got to play somebody like, that I'm not good at now. <laughs> so. I have that issue all the time with Soldier 76. <laughs> every time I, I want to play him on every attack map, and it's immediately gone. So, yeah, I, I actually really I like to default to Mercy because there's so many people... Uh, that want to not play a healer, mm-hmm. anything but a healer, that it makes it way easier just to grab a healer from the start. It, I've actually had people thank me in chat before the game started just for because they've had so many matches where people refuse to heal. <laughs> yeah, and people, it seems like people are relieved, like because like when I click in Mercy, all of a sudden I'll see everybody else click in their choices. Sometimes yeah, yeah. they're like, people okay, are waiting with bated breath. <laughs> Somebody's actually healing. Oh my gosh! What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> so that that's been my experience. Uh, maybe maybe that's why it's better because like people were like, okay, cool, we have a willing healer. I'm not gonna like yeah, rock the boat, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and I I will heal on defense every time. Mm-hmm. I just like to play soldier when I can on attack, um, or if there's a pharaoh or a bastard problem. But I mean, it was I had oh man, what was it? I oh I had one on um. <laughs> Uh, I can't remember which map it was, but they demanded that we go three tank, one heal. Okay. Um, and we were in the middle of the map, and we had a tank, and we had a uh, Symmetra, and I think our other was Mercy or something like that for a okay. support. And they just stopped and said, no, we have to go three tanks, one healer, or we are <laughs> going to lose this. And, like, we're advancing on the second point. And I don't know if the guy had been dying a bunch and just not watching. And somebody typed in and was like, we're <laughs> rolling over them. What are you talking about? But he was just adamant that we had needed to stop and get back there and go three tanks. I, I, I do love that. When, when you get into a match and somebody is like verbal or typing all caps like, we have to do this. You guys suck. You're terrible. You're all scrubs. <laughs> And then, like, of course, they don't ever leave the match. Like, no, if, if we're so no. bad, like, you could have just, just, you know, become yeah. a lever. And then at the end, like, we'll face roll the other team. And then, like, <laughs> like that one person in the group before they leave will be like, yeah. "What? So what was that all about? You know, or something?" <laughs> <laughs> and like, they'll never I, respond. You know, they just leave immediately. I, yeah, you get that all the time now. I actually was. Uh, it was really weird. I had a match where a guy was. Uh, we our first round we lost. Um, and he was like really pissed verbally in chat <laughs> that we lost. And he wasn't mean to anybody. He was just really mad. And then somebody <laughs> really mad, in yeah. noob team. And he got on there and he went 
How dare you call out any of these other people? You've known them for all of one match. You have no <laughs> idea what their skills are. I was like, oh, wow, this is oh, not who I oh, thought this guy oh, was. Oh, shots fired. Yeah, like, oh, shots <laughs> fired. And, and that guy stayed and never said a word the rest of the time. Just <laughs> I, not a word. He, I would have, like, friend like, requested that dude. Time. Yeah, no, he actually friend requested me afterwards. <laughs> a whole bunch of people from today did, actually. Nice. But there, it was so interesting because it feels like there's a lot of new things coming in, and I, I keep hearing the phrase, because it works. Hey, we need to go Lucio and Bastion here because it works. <laughs> well, okay, sure. Just uh, shoot me the document that shows me empirical evidence that that works here. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't Every- it, but I've, I've seen it work. Oh, you've done it? Yeah, this, uh, this other time I was here and it worked. Well, back the one time you were here, <laughs> it was a Lucio and a Bastion, and you won. Yep. <laughs> You're right. Hypothesis proven. That, that's like I me saying, up. like, I've, I've been in a match where, you know, I've seen an offensive Bastion, Torbjorn, and Symmetra, <laughs> and we won with no healer. Like, oh, yeah, definitely. Like, it, it uh, happened, like, out of pure luck because the other yeah. team somehow did not know how to oh, destroy oh. us. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're all in tight, and we definitely need that Lucio. Oh, and we're on attack. We got to get that bastion uh, yeah. in there, even though it's wide open and nowhere for him to hide. <laughs> uh, I just, just have to. Long story short, TLDR. <laughs> people are crazy. Oh, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was an enjoyable, entertaining week with a lot of craziness. Nice. Well, we'll, 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 we'll have a couple of weeks to to get some more games in and to update and see if yeah. uh, maybe over Absolutely. the holiday, the, maybe the holiday spirit will soften people's hearts and they'll be nicer uh, maybe pe- or or people will just a bunch of people will get overwatch uh for christmas that are really toxic and it'll just get worse <laughs> it could it could yeah. go either way we don't know That's yet the more likely option <laughs> it's like it's like the doctor standing here and you're like well doc am i gonna live yeah it's about 50 50 right now <laughs> yeah. so i went into GameStop today and uh my wife and i went in there and i always look for the overwatch funkos because people are always looking for them and the guy goes, how you doing? I'm like, good. And he goes, have you heard of Overwatch? <laughs> yeah. Did you know it was game of the year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have a collector's edition in stock. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sweet. That's awesome. <laughs> <sighs> That's awesome. He's like, yeah, it's a really good game. And then he started telling me about all the characters he had played, and it made absolutely no sense whatsoever. <laughs> Do that GameStop, learn the game before you try to sell it to me. So basically right, what I... Thank you. So th- this is like just another testament to me that I need to get you that Overcast shirt. Yes, and, and then yes, and I need to do. And I need to get you like business cards so that you could have just like <laughs> slipped him a business card and then just walked out of the store right then. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been great. It, that, 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 been, that was a great moment. The, you would have been just like the guy at the end of that match, like you, that called the noob team. You know, like <laughs> yeah. it was just like mic drop, <laughs> <laughs> mic mic drop, and leave the store. <laughs> no, that's that's hilarious though. Ugh. Well, speaking of that's... the holiday spirit, yep, and uh, and you know the winter time, we've been talking about snow a lot and uh, the cold. The Winter Wonderland event, which we have we were invited to and we were all excited about. It's here. We're celebrating it right now, and uh, it's very exciting. So, so you know, it came out, and everybody was like, they hopped in, and we have all these new skins, and all these new yeah. sprays, and all this new yeah. highlight intros, and everything. So, so let's talk about the loot first. Like, what do we think about the loot? <laughs> I, as far as I'll, I'll go one by one. Skins, okay. A plus, um, and I say a plus. Not just because there's a bunch of great uh, legendary skins, because Overwatch, you guys always do a fantastic job with legendary skins. I've never been unhappy with your holiday event legendaries, right? But the epic skins this time are awesome. <laughs> McCree's epic skin, Farah, who looks like a Death Knight from World of Warcraft. <laughs> yep. I mean, there are just some amazing epic skins. Um, and, and having both of those makes it even a higher chance that you get one. Um, and I, I don't know what you, but I, I've heard other Overwatch uh, podcasts talk about everybody that opened that first first loot box got a legendary. And I, I got the nut, Nutcracker Zenyatta in my first one. <laughs> and it was just like, oh, this is really cool. And then my next one, I got the uh, the McCree, the uh, Scrooge McCree. <laughs> and, and it was like, this is really cool. And because you can buy those epics so cheap, it's like it makes them so easily available. But they, 
they're on par with those legendaries. So I think they did a fantastic job. How about yeah. you? I, I think they did an outstanding job too. I, I think one of the things somebody has pointed out is that like this is like you know, one of the first times where like Mercy didn't get like a highlight skin that was like the talk of the town, right? <laughs> Yeah. And, and I think that's fine. That's fine. Because we need to yeah. spread the love around. Uh, I, I am along lines with a lot of people that were kind of disappointed, though, in the Zarya skin. Uh, because there's... A, I don't remember what the name of the skin is, but there's one that almost basically identical. is... It's almost yep. identical. So, like, I, I understand that. I, I, I wish Blizzard would go back and maybe, like, tweak that a little bit. Yep. Uh, if For those of you who don't know, Zarya has a light blue skin that's just exactly the same as her normal skin, but, like, a light blue. This one adds on sleeves... Yeah. That are like a mesh or carbon fiber, and that is it. Yeah. There is no difference. Um, so I actually like the skin, but there's no reason that I wouldn't get the non-holiday one if I was actually going to buy it for uh, credits. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, so yeah, that that one, good point. That one was kind of odd. I don't know if that was like a last-minute <laughs> thing. Yeah, I don't um, know. What I want is a giant bear costume. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want is this this big bear like uh, Duratar <laughs> or uh, one of the orcs of Warcraft hanging uh, over Zarya, but that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, I, I think I think with uh, with with Roadhog, I was I was excited that he had like the antlers and stuff. <laughs> I, I was hoping though that they would have put like a like a deer or like a reindeer head on him instead of just having the antlers on his his head with the mask. Yeah, so well, like, you love the belly button. Right, the the belly button though is awesome, and the, of course and, like <laughs> Zenyatta was was great. Like I was, that's probably like one of the best yep. ones. I, yeah, I, and I, the nut that she throws nuts at you now. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I, I do love I love blue, so I love the Farah and the Reaper were like yep. outstanding. Oh, and, the Reaper was great too. Yep. Yes, and uh, also the uh, of course Torbjorn being Santa, like we talked Torbjorn about last. And May. And May, yeah. Yeah, uh, Mister and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Mister and Mrs. Huh? Claus. Yep. <laughs> yep. And then of course, uh, like the moment that like I showed my wife like the Winston skin, she was just like, "Oh, that's so awesome!" You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was fantastic. And, Which and was your favorite? My my very favorite one out of all of them. Yep. Uh, it's yeah. I, I'm I'm looking like at him right now to like make my <laughs> my decision. I I think my very favorite one that I would use personally the most is probably the Reaper one, but that's just okay. Personal preference of colors and, and that's everything like epic that. Epic skin, so. not yeah. legendary. Yeah, crazy, I, right? I think that's fantastic. And somebody, uh, somebody was also pointing out that um, yeah. you know, you you at first you might not have noticed it, like when they did the the tweets and everybody was tweeting pictures and everything, that like the jump pack for Winston was that giant skull. Oh. Like, yeah, you can see it, but if you if you just glance at it, like you didn't really see what it was, and then you know <laughs> you see that turnaround, and you're like, oh my gosh, that thing's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it it really is. They did a lot of cool little things like that. That uh, like Roadhog, did you notice his gun? Uh huh. The 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 care uh, of junk rat. Care of junk rat. Yep. To yeah, and from I sticker. That was great. Super I cute. They did a really cool little <laughs> things like that. Like uh, Reaper, the his cloak is actually a snowflake. <laughs> yep. Uh, which is good and bad, I guess. I'm not sure about Reaper being this special snowflake, but whatever. And and even like the like the home screen for the game when you when you get in there and everybody's all happy. Like I yeah. really like that. And then and then you've yep. got like McCree in there, Scrooging by the window in the background. You know, <laughs> love it. <laughs> Love it. Yes, I thought that was very cool. I think, and, and they did a lot of the really cool uh, emotes too. Mm -hmm. I think they did a good job. I I just got the McCree flip of the hat with the Scrooge <laughs> at the same time, which looks really cool. Yes. Um, I, I mean, I think they everybody's did a great everybody's job. talking about the Widowmaker one though. I mean, which one is the Widowmaker? The, one? the mistletoe where she holds the mistletoe. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That that one, I, that one stole the event for a lot of people, I think. <laughs> yes, that that was cool. I think my favorite of all the stuff they did was the Symmetra, um, the play of the game, yeah, the play of the, the game screen with the snowflake. Yes, I thought that was fantastic. They, that was like beautiful graphic work that they did with that. I thought that was really cool. And that was, I, and the Zarya awesome. mode with the gifts with like the box yes. that that was so like that one's like it, it, even though they didn't give her a great skin like that kind of yeah. makes up for it I think so <laughs> yeah the Russian doll yes <laughs> a box in a box in a box yeah very very good so onto the brawl now the snow oh, brawl here we go. and it was like when it said snow brawl you're like oh what is this you know like and then <laughs> boom get in there six v six you know you get like a you you get like the one shot gun that you have to recharge yep. with the the piles of snow and 
then then we were talking about it before the show like I, I don't know if it wasn't in the description or if i just missed it because i jumped in like immediately and i was like i have to try this brawl and uh, i didn't know what the alt did at first because i like i hit my alt and i was like oh okay so i don't see anything happening and i didn't, didn't even realize that like i could just start shooting <laughs> so i was an idiot um <laughs> I, that has been rectified now uh, maybe not the idiotic part but i know what to do now <laughs> But it's it's a lot, it's a lot of fun. Like I've I've seen a lot of people saying that like they've been getting in matches where people have been leaving, and so that doesn't help. But I I think it's it's even though uh, kind of sad that Blizzard didn't hear our ideas. Maybe it was a little bit too late from last week. You know, we had a <laughs> lot of been. might have been. That's for next year. We'll save it for next yes. year. Then yeah. <laughs> but I think that it was. I think it's a fun event. It's it's you know yep. there's some skill, there's some deception that you can play in, and mm -hmm. oh like, yes. I, I love getting in there, like, because you only get one shot in your weapon, and so I love getting in there and, like, acting like, you know, you see somebody shoot, and then you act like you don't have a shot, so you'll, like, run by them, because you can't melee or anything, so they'll, they'll assume that you don't have any ammo, and so they'll, like, run, you know, to, like, go and recharge their gun, and then you're, like, plink. <laughs> yep. I can't tell you how many kills I've gotten just from waiting for people to go reload, mm -hmm. just watching. And they go down there to reload. And I just kill them, and then I take what they're going to reload and walk away. <laughs> I, I think the one-shot idea brings so many different aspects into it. I, I think it's fantastic. First of all, the, the achievement where you have to shoot, I think it's like 25 yards, um, is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, we had one where I was uh, I went up the stairs on the right side, and it came across, and I got hit and died. I thought, that's weird. They were all the way near the starting zone and just... <laughs> threw it up I, I don't know if it was their first time they didn't know they only had one shot but they just threw it up and all of a sudden ding ding and so i got to see in the replay and i, and I had to type in chat like that was an amazing shot oh i didn't know what i was doing <laughs> it's like so a, i think modern warfare I, 2 knife kills from like yeah. the old days or something <laughs> i think that that idea of just one shot brings in a lot of uh, really cool ideas you know like like you said you can uh, let let people think you don't have a shot or what I do if I have the alt is I take a shot if they miss me mm -hmm. and then they just we I just kind of like walk with them until we get near somebody else and then I alt and then I kill them <laughs> and I try to kill the other people. Um, there's a lot of really fun things and really good players you'll watch on replays are really smart and they'll even like fake walk away to go they'll turn their back <laughs> and immediately turn around and kill them. There's um <laughs> there's a lot of fun with that. Yeah, nice. they did a really good job uh, designing that I think. Uh, do you think it's on par with Lucio Ball, though? I know you love oh, Lucio Ball. Absolutely not. So. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the thing. Lucio Ball, um, even if you are playing and getting destroyed, and we were all there, right? We all had one of those games like, I just cannot, you know, our team just cannot get it together, right? <laughs> You're still playing. You may go through an entire round of that May, uh, the, what is it, May Snowball Challenge? Or, I think the the Snow Brawl. Snow Brawl, thank you. And just watching. Because you mm -hmm. get eliminated by being plunked by a snowball. Um, I, I wonder what else they could have done if they could have let you just, you know, your gun falls apart or something, you can still run around. But I, I love that Lucio Ball. You can still, like, go up on the sides of the stadium and do all <laughs> sorts of stuff, even if you're getting destroyed. You know, there's something to do. I, I can't tell you how many times I alt-tabbed out of it while I waited because one person was alive on one team and nobody could find them until the uh, the timer ran out and they got identified. So, yeah. I, other than that, I think it's fantastic. I, I think it's below Lucio Ball, but it's definitely one of their best. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a great event. I think maybe shortening the timer or making it like 4 on 4 or 3 on 3, yeah. like just just lowering the number of people on the teams would have made it because we're playing on Antarctica, so it's like, you know, we're we're already playing on like yeah. a small map. So it's doable. And maybe that would like speed it up a little bit or make, you know, your downtime a little bit less, uh, I don't know, <laughs> boring. Yeah. Cause sometimes like yep. you're just sitting there watching like somebody, like you said, you're watching like three people hunt one person who's just like holed up somewhere <laughs> and you're and like, you want to okay. tell them like, come on guys, they're over here. And then they move. And yeah, <laughs> it, it's kind of funny that if they, when they get to one person on one team, um, that very rarely they can get out of like the three on one or four on one. But I guess you got to give them a chance. So I, mean, I don't know, maybe give them a minute. Mm -hmm. But after that, I mean, they can hide for quite a while. <laughs> yes. So there you go. Go and enjoy the snow brawl. Absolutely. Go and enjoy. Good luck in season three with all that. And uh, just have yes. fun. Good luck with your loot boxes, your presents. <laughs> yes.
So, okay, well, here, before we move on, what skins have you got so far? Okay, so I got... Um, I did get the Zarya one, I think. I think that's like... Nice. And then I got... I think I got Tracer okay. the other day. Uh, that's really like, cool like a day or so ago. I think that's, I think that's it. Actually, I haven't got okay. very much, so <laughs> it's gonna be uh, one of those things sorry. where it's like, let's wait to the end again and see if I get anything kind of like you, you know? Yeah, you then you get what you want. If, yeah, exactly. If you don't, then you get a duplicate and you realize you just kind of wasted it. Yeah. Yeah. So before we wrap up, there's there's they're asking for community help, and they want us. A Blizzard wants us to help them. So they said in a recent blog post on the Overwatch page. Incredible fan art, killer cosplays, helpful tu tutorials, silly comics, salty memes, and plays of the of the day of the game for days. Seriously, they're everywhere. Is what they said. <laughs> the Overwatch community is incredibly talented, and you're not only brightened up uh, brightened up the internet with your creations, but you've warmed our hearts and homes as well. Your participation and enthusiasm have shaped Overwatch the universe in ways that could have never been imagined. And without you, this game wouldn't have been possible. So when we started thinking about how we wanted to celebrate the holidays at Blizzard headquarters, we knew that we want our players to be part of it. So they want us, they, they now have a big tree at the Blizzard headquarters and they want us to help them decorate the tree. So there's this, this big old tree. It looks, it's pretty big. It's got the giant Pakamari yeah. plush next to it. So it's, it's pretty huge. It's probably yeah. pretty, pretty, pretty tall. And they, uh, they provide, a, a, a place where you can send digital decorations or physical decorations to Blizzard, and they also provide kind of like a template to kind of help get you started if you you know if you want to make something and send it in. So this is a chance for you to uh, kind of send your your mark to Blizzard and have it be part of their Christmas celebration for the Overwatch team. So I think this is That's kind of a cool, cool thing that they're doing. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and they'll probably you know I I would assume they'll probably get it out like even if they don't do this every year. They'll probably get it out like next year and say, "Hey, look, remember all this yeah. from the community?" So that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, kind of. It's cool stuff. So you know, if yeah. you're if you're creative, if you're artistic, unlike myself, I would be using or the me. template. <laughs> yep, me too. So uh, th there you go. <laughs> send in. Like, I'll send an overcast one in. Like just write it on the <laughs> template. <laughs> Why don't you have Kaz do that? <laughs> that's that's probably a better idea. Huh? <laughs> So there we go. The last thing is from the rumor mill uh, on Twitter yesterday on a bunch of uh, Twitter or Blizzard employees that I follow and things like that. I, I noticed that Terry Crews made a stop at Blizzard headquarters. And yes, one might ask, why would Terry Crews stop at Blizzard headquarters? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't remember what uh, some there's a Twitter account that I found and they retweeted it. Somebody was saying that that uh, their theory was that it was doom. They, he was going to be doom fist. Doom fist. Yep. And you know what? That's fine. Uh, Terry Crews is awesome. He's a really cool yeah, guy. Yeah. So if he plays a voice in Overwatch or any other Blizzard game, I'd be happy with it anyway. But <laughs> it it would be pretty cool, you know, if you, to see him in yep. game somehow. So I agree. I I had retweeted it and said that I would uh, be happy to select Terry Crews in <laughs> Overwatch and play him. What if it's just Terry Crews? Like it's just him. Yeah, I'm in. Like, I'm in. <laughs> and and like he it's just it, him and his fist. He's just melee. What what if they what if they just like what if this is actually like a collaboration with Old Spice? They're gonna bring it in. Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> That's what this is all about. <laughs> we figured oh, it out. That'd be fantastic. I, whatever he's doing, I love it. I saw the picture of him with uh, Overwatch. I think Terry Crews is fantastic. Uh, I Brooklyn Nine Nine is one of my favorite TV shows. I <laughs> haven't watched it. Terry Crews is hilarious on that show. Um, so whatever he's doing, I'm happy he's doing it with Blizzard Entertainment. Yeah, it'd be cool. But if he is Doomfist. Awesome and oh, yeah. pro props to somebody if they called it. I mean, I like you'd have to, he'd be like like the Reinhardt kind of like you know him yeah. and Reinhardt could have so many cool lines between each other. I bet. Oh, so that, that'd, that'd be awesome. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I look forward to finding out whatever Terry Crews is doing there. Same here. And then uh, schedule for the next couple of weeks. So for the next couple of weeks, Christmas of course is next week. And mm -hmm. to give uh, all of us and you a break, we will be celebrating Christmas by not having a show next week. So just go and play your play your guts out <laughs> for the next week, yeah. couple weeks there. And then the week after will be right before the end of the year. That will be our final show of the year. We'll be all back. Hopefully all three of us will be there. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that will all work out. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here as well. So uh, Perfect. Hope, as, long as, as long as Ova's not traveling <laughs> you know, or something like that, we'll be that good. That could be, yeah. Uh, but in, in that show, we will we will wrap up the year, 
And we'll also introduce you to some new things that we've been working on for the new year because we, uh, we have some cool new segments and things like that we're bringing to the show. We're going to keep it fresh. And also we'll, <laughs> we might be talking some resolutions. So uh, yeah, talking, uh, you know, Ovo talking about getting into Overwatch or uh, yeah, Overwatch League and, yep. uh, you know, then uh, you being I'll be a, talking about getting out of bronze, you be, know, things like that. being a manager of the Overwatch team locally. Right? Yeah, there you <laughs> go. That's more my style. <laughs> So there you go. Look that. Look for that. And like, like I said, so enjoy the holiday season. Enjoy your Christmas. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully, if you haven't got Overwatch for some reason and you're listening to the show, you get it. Yeah, uh, especially since it's really cheap. If if yep. somebody out there loves you a lot, they might get you a collector's edition for Christmas. So, <laughs> so congrats if you do get one of those. <laughs> and uh, yeah, get ready for the, uh, the beginning of a brand new exciting year of Overcast. So. And then we didn't get any questions on Ask Overcast this week. So if you have any questions to wrap up the air, you can always tweet us directly at Overcast Show on Twitter or just use the hashtag Ask Overcast and we will answer your questions on the show. And with that out of the way, let's just figure out, Softy, you had a social media change. Where can people find you on social media you now? find me at Softy76. There you, you go. Get the reference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a revamped Twitter page and everything. So. Yes. Yes, to reflect the recent change in my life. <laughs> and there you go. And you can find me at Frosty Fox pretty much everywhere. And you can find yep. the show, like I said, at Overcast Show on Twitter. You can also go to the blog page, overcast.frozenfoxmedia.com, where we post everything, everything we talk about, links to the show notes, all that stuff from each week. Frozenfoxmedia.com is your place to find out about this and all the other podcasts and other content on the Frozen Fox Media Network. And thank you for watching. If you're watching the YouTube version, give us a thumbs up and enjoy. And also, if you're listening on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play Music, or anywhere else, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any episodes and leave us a review to let us know if you love the show. We much appreciate it. And that is it for the week. There we go. So hope everybody has a fantastic holiday season, fantastic and safe holiday season, mind you. (laughs) <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll, we'll, well, you and I and, and hopefully Ova we will see you in a couple weeks so take care until then I am Frosty I am Softy thank you so much for listening enjoy a safe and happy holidays and we'll see you next time 